Yo, people low key be snitching on themselves. Like I understand you trying to, you know, relate to the public and pass on a download, but you're snitching on yourself in the process. Like heavenly snitching. And if you go by the laws of, you know, the states versus corporation, <laughs> then you kind of realize that this, that's a couple of misdemeanors. Like you, man, you did burglary, man. You did theft, man. You did shit. You did a lot of things, man. You did invading people's privacy. But at least my man got the message along. What's up, YouTube? This is Edo, everything on the other. And you already know I'm back with one of these videos. Now, this dude is pretty spot on. His name is Enoch the Freestyle, right? And I think I was listening to him years back, but I wasn't even doing these videos back then. I was more in the, you know, reaction skits, you know, doing what people told me to do because, you know, I thought that was going to work. But obviously, <sighs> Well, I ain't gonna go back down that lane, but I wasn't even doing these videos yet, right? So, but I was listening to this dude because he'll be spot on with some stuff, but then other stuff will come from like an ego point. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really trying to hear all that if it's not about bettering self. I ain't trying to better ego. I'm trying to kill ego. I'm trying to get rid of ego. I want ego to go. Ego is in the way. You feel me? So this dude was pretty spot on. So listen to what he has to say, y'all. All right, check it. Hey, say focus and balance. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate the love, the support, the comments. Thank y'all for watching all of my YouTube videos. I don't have a title for the video, but I wanted to speak on gangs talking right quick and something that just recently happened to me that I caught on to. So um, you can be self-aware and know who is who and what is taking place with these people around you and the places that you go to. I was staying within this old apartment, so within this old apartment, it was certain people that was moving in, so. Now there's your first red flag. You notice he said he was staying in a certain apartment. You ain't say what kind of apartment. All you said was, I was staying in a certain apartment. And then you just brushed past all that, and then you took us down another memory lane where you in the dude's room. Y'all, pay attention to this yourself. That I made YouTube videos and stuff of that nature, so I feel like a person uh, that stayed with me that recently moved in, you feel me? They knew that I made spiritual videos, and I ended up, I ended up going into uh, their room because somebody like stole my mail. They were stealing my mail, and I was standing there. All right, here's the next red flag. First of all, stealing your mail does not justify the reasoning for you to go into your tenant who you are renting out or providing a space of living quarter for. You feel me, my man? You better make sure you get your mail on time. You better not leave your mail out there for your roommate to take. You feel me? My mail, they were stealing my mail and I was standing there. So once I walk into the room, I started looking around and stuff like that. And I see like certain stuff like that freaked me out, bro. It's stuff that I like, like I like pickles. It is a specific type of pickles. And I also like Sonic. Like y'all freaking know that I love Sonic. My man said I like pickles and I like Sonic. Yo, and that is what gave him a red alert to go in and you know, just completely violate his whole living space. You know my man was in there trying to rob this dude. You know he was trying to steal. You know that way he wasn't in there cause no damn pickles. Sonic? Nigga, if you want a Sonic, take your ass down to Sonic. You in the wrong space, motherfucker. You in the motherfucking tenant that you provide the space for, no matter what. Yeah, it doesn't matter if dude was watching your channel and then saw you have some Sonic and how, saw you have some Skittles and then go and get some Sonic and Skittles. Who gives a shit? Why are you in my man's room while he ain't there talking about, oh man, he got Sonic and Skittles. Oh shit, I'm going to have to, I'm, I'm going to have to confront him. You know what I'm saying? He just, to me, he's just looking for a reason to stir up drama with this dude because he come across as like, you know, I don't know. He wants to be the alpha in the room or, and it doesn't even matter who cares, but I've come across this so many times where people would like try to stir up problems with me because I didn't even know what it was. I thought we was all trying to live and ride together. No, that is not the case. I see. So my man was just trying to instill a certain kind of dominance over his tenant who he felt like was in more of a you know submissive position because if he's not ready to throw down then he'll look at him as he's in a submissive position which therefore will put him in an egoic standpoint where he would want to bully this person who's not trying to even stir up any drama 
Like what, who does that, man? I don't even understand. It's not a coincidence. You know what I'm saying? I feel like uh, I was staying with a super fan or something like that. One of my roommates asked me to come in the room and sit down and talk to them. So that was the first time like they kind of knew like what was going on. I didn't notice. No. I can't believe he's, I'm stopping justifications in 2023. I told myself I would no longer explain common sense to what it seems to be uncommon brick wall wire. <clears throat> I'm not doing that no more. I, I told myself, nah, I just, I was like, nah, you, you set my man down because he has some Skittles and some Sonic. For, you know what? I can't. They secretly recording me. And I found this out through my intuition and how I know it is because the whole time I was having like a conversation with this person, like they was like talking like in third person, like they was speaking to something that was around them. And did you just not hear what you just said? That's why I unsubscribed a while back to go. You just said this person that you accused of getting the Skittles and the Sonic was speaking in the third person. That is how you found out through your intuition. What kind of shit? No wonder why they don't take us serious as a, as, as a people. And I was like, okay, nothing is recording. There's nothing on the screen or anything, but you can still record stuff nine days, you know what I'm saying, without people even knowing it. People get away with it all the time. This is how people come out with them tapes and stuff like that. But yeah, they basically recording the chosen ones, and I just wanted to come out with a video about that to let you know, because whenever I was in a room and I was talking to them about spirituality and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they went to name and stuff that I had on me, like certain stuff, and I thought that was weird. And I was like, okay, they must be recording me. Like, who the freak are they talking to? I mean... Maybe they picked it up from their intuition. But well, wait a second, wait a second. You said because of the whole situation with the Sonic and the Skittles, your roommate, and you going in and you doing a bunch of criminal shit, and you know what I'm saying? You've now come to the conclusion that you are a chosen one and they're stalking chosen ones? Ah, shit, man. Is this, how, is this how I look? Yo, let me know in the comment section. If this is how I look, man, I would change, yo. I would step up in the church, I'd become a new man. You know what I'm saying? Like, who the freak sent them? The similarities on what I can compare this to is if you know anything about like a phone being tapped, people having wires on them and stuff like that, when they come around you and they talking to you, us chosen ones, we may have to start like patting these people down, you know what I'm saying? Like they trying to get in the club, we the security because these people are agents and they coming in and I can tell that y'all are secretly recording us on some gang talking type stuff. Truman Show type of stuff. So I just wanted to fill you in on this information, bro, because you can literally be sitting around somebody and the whole entire time you are unaware, but they are recording the conversation that they have with you. It just don't make sense, bro. Like, why would you name weapons that I have on me? Like you telling the enemy that or something. But anyway. Hold on, let me, let me pause that. We all got something to teach. Everybody. You know, that's why, you know, there's it's, it's another individual YouTuber <clears throat> goes around as Vortex. You know, they do the same thing. They give you some good information, and then they just spin you around the block. Like, and you end up in the hood. Y'all feel like everybody hates Chris all over again. You know how you just, like, what, what? My man, 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 my man. My man. That was your roommate. Your roommate! What kind of shit is that? That had nothing to do with gang stalking, stalking, none of the each, none of the witch. That was your roommate. He probably, I don't know. I can't really tell you. But that was, bro, you probably led that motherfucker on. I don't know. But that sound like it's a personal problem. You had to go to him and be like, hey man, why was you uh why was you choosing to get some Skittles and some uh some pickles? You know what I'm saying, you know? Uh, just like me, you gotta ask him that. Maybe, maybe you had pickles, and you had them skittles, and you left them out in the cupboard, and you saw I mean, and your homie saw him, and he was hungry, and he was like, "Man, I sure would like some skittles and some pickles." Mm. And then he and Hannah, and then that's why when he got a chance to go to the store, he went and got some skittles and some pickles. Really, in a like, I can understand if my man copied you like your whole wardrobe, dressed like you, spoke like you try to emit the same frequency vibration like you 
Now that's like identity theft. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's like on some, whew, I don't know what the car about it, but that's on a whole nother ball game. My man, what kind of shit is this, y'all? I can't even with this, y'all. So, if y'all enjoyed this video, always hit that like button down below. But look, 